discharges from the vagina are usually secreted from tiny little organs located in that area. Their major function is to keep the reproductive tract healthy. The amount secreted each and every day varies from person to person. So if you have small amounts, just know that it's not a problem. And if you have too much vagina secretion, just know that it's totally normal. The vagina discharge usually varies in amount, consistency and color. On today's video, we'll be talking about the different colors of vagina discharge, the normal and the abnormal ones so that you will know when to see a doctor. My name is Nurse Goretti and on this channel, I bring to you videos on feminine hygiene, nursing and lifestyle. So stay with me, don't go anywhere. I will be right back. <laughs> As I said earlier on, we will be talking about different colors of vaginal discharges from the normal to the abnormal. So let's talk about the normal one because it's from the normal one that you will know what is abnormal. For the normal one, the color varies at different points in your menstrual cycle. Let's say for instance, someone that has a typical 28 days menstrual cycle, what will be her normal discharges. From the day one to day five, the person will have bloody discharge. Depending on the number of days that you see your period, some people see their period up to seven days, some people see their period just for three days. So depending on the number of days you see your period, the average is usually day one to day five, vagina discharge will be blood. From the day six to day 14, after your period, you could notice a smaller amount of vaginal discharge as your egg is preparing to mature for your ovulation. But the cervical mucus you will see will be somewhat cloudy, white or even yellowish in color. People think that whenever they have a yellowish discharge, it usually means an infection. No, it does not necessarily interpret as infection. Some yellowish discharge may show infection but not all the time. Before we continue with the rest of the video, let me use second to tell you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I just got to my 1k subscribers and I really appreciate all of my returning viewers and my new viewers. Kindly hit the subscribe button. These are the kind of content I create on this channel. So from the day 14 to day 25, that's from days to your ovulation or even during your ovulation, the cervical mucus becomes slippery. This slipperiness is due to it being the same consistency as egg whites. You know how your egg whites are? You know it's usually slippery. When you try to pick it up, it will slip away from your hand. So that is how vaginal discharge is during your ovulation. Then after your ovulation, it goes back to being cloudy, white or yellowish in color. From day 25 to day 28, your cycle is rounding off. So you're going to see lesser cervical mucus. This is because your body is getting ready for your next period. These are the normal vagina discharge in a cycle. Let's move over to the abnormal vagina discharge. Whenever you see this abnormal vagina discharge, just know that you need to see a doctor immediately. Okay, the number one color that you could consider abnormal is yellow green color. If your vagina discharge is yellowish green, then come closer. If it's slightly yellow, then with no other symptom, you may not really have a problem because initially in the normal vagina discharge, we say that yellow discharges are totally normal. But if yellowishness is deep, if it is completely yellow or yellowish green or even greenish, then there is a problem in your reproductive tract. It usually signifies bacteria infection or even sexually transmitted infection. The next color, vagina discharge color that we will talk about is pink. If you have this pink vagina discharge, it simply means that it has some blood in it. The pinkishness could range from light pink to a much more deeper pink. It simply means that there is blood on it. Some people have what is called spotting. Few days to their period, they could spot and it's pink in color and that's normal. And then some people, it's usually due to implantation. There's early days of pregnancy. 
it usually signifies that you are pregnant for some people and then for some people it occurs after a sexual intercourse because they could have some tear in the vagina due to the sexual intercourse the next one we talk about is gray vaginal discharge for gray vagina discharge the first disease that should come to your mind is bacteria virginosis if accompanied by itching strong odor irritation redness just know that you are looking at bacteria virginosis even when you are having normal vagina discharge and you have any of the following symptoms that i'm going to be mentioning you need to see a doctor because it's not normal to be having any of the symptoms even if the colors are normal so the first symptom is itching itching usually signifies bacteria once you have a bacteria infection one of the first symptoms that you will notice is itching another one is strong odor every female has a scent but once that scent deviates from your usual scent to another scent then you should know that there is a problem although the scent can be determined by what you ate even all these vaginal discharges the color can be determined by what you ate but colors can never go as far as changing colors to normal colors another symptom that could point to this is pain if you're having pain it's not normal if you're having pain or discomfort it's not normal you should get that checked out another one that you should definitely check out is burning sensation when you're urinating it usually could indicate urinary tract infection and you know women are more predisposed to urinary tract infection because they have a short urethra another sign you should check out is spotting after sex which occurs on a regular basis every time you have sex you will spot it could indicate that every time you have sex you have tears down there you have tears in your vagina area some blood vessels could have ruptured another sign that you should check out is this says that is frothy or cheese like you know how your cheese are if you have a dish that is like cheese it's not normal you know, at the beginning of your period the discharge could be cloudy, it could be yellowish, it could be white, but then it won't be like your cheese. And if it is so, check it out. I hope you got value on today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do so. If you have any question for me, feel free to ask on the, in the comment section and I'll definitely respond to you. If not, say hi Nosgoretti. Tell me where you're watching from and I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much for tuning in today and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!